Yo, yo, this is gonna be one of the coolest videos I ever made. We're gonna create a Apple Watch app that lets you just enter an amount for payment and then displays a QR on the Apple Watch app and then someone can scan that QR code and then um, and then pay you, basically. So you're gonna accept, so basically, we're gonna make an app that lets you accept payments from your Apple Watch. Gonna make that using uh, Swift QI and the checkout.com payment api checkout.com is one of the coolest payment companies over there and, and the reason i say this is because their apis are so simple to use uh getting a test account and setting up their api for the payment links took me like 10 minutes really so which is really nice the simplicity is very much appreciated let me show you the end result the end result looks like this this is an apple watch app you select an amount or you just scroll using the crown on your apple watch then you click enter then it will get a QR for the payment. Now, if I just scan this QR with my phone, I get the payment page. The checkout.com hosted payment page. I can pay with my card or I can pay with Google Pay, as you can see in here. Pretty cool, right? Now, implementing this is actually very, very, very easy. It's not gonna take as long as my other videos. It's like under 40 lines of code for the server backend and under 100 line of code for the front end. And just purely an app watch. It doesn't have an iOS companion app, although you can do that to add more configurations and interesting stuff. This is what's happening here exactly. Um, your watch is calling your server and sending the amount to it, for example, $50, and then your server will send the amount and other details to checkout.com API, which is our payment provider. And then your payment provider checkout API will return the payment link to your server and your server can then return that payment link to your uh, Apple Watch. Then your Apple Watch is going to grab that link and convert it into QR. Anybody can generate a QR code. So if you just type in QR code generator online, just pick the first link you can find here. You can just slap any text in here and then you can convert it to a QR code like this. So same concept, right? We're gonna do that just from the watch instead of from this website. Okay, that should be simple enough. Now let's close everything here and just start from the scratch. I can walk you through it. Close this and this. First thing, let's create a uh, new Xcode project to to implement the front end for our app. The, 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 the app itself that's gonna take in the amount and then send the request to get the link. So it's just gonna be a regular watch app with uh, with with no iOS app companion. Okay, so this part is simple. We just need the text that says enter the amount, and then we need a step a stepper that uh, that that takes in the amount for the actual payment. Stepper looks like this. Add few state variables. We're gonna need a state for the a state for the amount, a state for loading when the link is being generated, a state that will hold the QR image, a state that will determine if the QR image is shown or not, oh, and a button that will send in the request. So enter, and then here we'll just send the payment, send the request, the API request to get the payment link, enter. Now actually, we're gonna have a view for if it's loading and if it's not loading. So if it's not loading, I'm gonna show this stuff that I, was ha that I had here earlier. If not, if it is actually loading, then I'm gonna just show progress view the uh, loading indicator that you see everywhere in iPhone. So we're just gonna have that here. You need a sheet to display the QR. So this is gonna be self is QR shown. This will be a navigation view. And just slap the image here. If you click on this image, just hide it, cancel it so that this sheet would dismiss when the user clicks on the QR. So they can go back to this screen where they can enter the amount and generate another link if they want to. We also need to install the library for uh, generating the QR code because Watch OS does not have all the um, native or the built-in libraries that are needed to generate QR code. So you need a third-party library to do that. So I looked it up, trust me. Just install this AFQR code GitHub library. This is so easy to generate a QR code with. Uh, shout out to the developer of this github library it's the best it's the only one really <laughs> in swift and so easy to use again simplicity is very much appreciated i just need somewhere here to have my uh api request for requesting the link just like this leave it like this for now okay 
Perfect. That looks about right. And you can also use the crown to rotate. When you rotate the crown, this is gonna change. I think now it's fair to move on and start working on uh, implementing the payment link API. Again, we're using checkout.com. Go to checkout.com to obtain your test credentials from, the, from this page. Just fill in your information and after you fill in your information, there will be a guide that walk you through how to generate the actual key. They have two authentication methods supported. I've already created my account. Here's me logging into my test portal. You would go to developers, you would go to keys, and here you can generate your secret keys and public keys. For simplicity, I'll, I'm just gonna use the secret key right away in my code. It's not a good practice, but it's simpler for the video. This is the guide for API authentication. I will also use this, I'll also include this in the description box for you guys so you know how to uh, do the same thing that I did. But it basically just looks like this. You will have an authorization header with bearer type and then your secret key will just be right here for any transaction that you do with it or this is the guy this is the guide for generating the payment links in, with with the checkout.com apis it's very simple all you need to do is post to this link or for sandbox you want to post this link with this payload right here however when i try to do that and i try to send the request payload as it is uh, i'm getting an error that says processing channel ID required so I had to include that in order for my link to work like this now where did I get this value from you will need to go to your portal back to from where you uh, you obtained your API key for example my secret key and here it will say allow any processing channel but really it doesn't let you do that you need to click on update key and here you will see your processing channel ID. I just took that, copied it, and placed it in my API request here. And now it works. This is my payment link. If I click on it, I go, it takes me to the browser where I can pay. And then for the payment, you just need to Google test cards, checkout.com, go to the first link, take any of these cards, for example, this one, just paste it here, no off. And then I can go for any expiry date in the future, so 0, 26, or 25. And then the security code would be 100. If you click on this, you click pay $20. Now it's paying. Then it's going to take me, what, to the 3D secure authentication. This will not happen always in a production scenario. Uh, so this is more like a simulator. Done. Payment is done. So that's how the payment link API work is just slap in the amount billing information customer information like the email and the name and then the URL for which you'd like to redirect the customer to after the payment is done send the request of course the authorization header is again bearer with the secret key uh, and then you'll get your link here under redirect so you take that and you convert it to QR that's how it looks like in the form of postman now let's Take this and create a Node.js endpoint that does the same exact thing that our app will be calling it to get the payment link. So I'll create a new code project called pay links. Links? Link. Okay, this is my Node.js project. I'm just gonna need to install. I'm just gonna need to install two dependencies. One is Axios, so we can call use that to call the checkout API. And one is called crypto, so we can generate random IDs for each request instead of hard coding it. I'm just gonna slap it here, change this to say pay link. All right, now let's code this real quick. I'm gonna change it to async, asynchronous. And here I'm gonna use Axios default post to call the API. So just copy the link over. Then here, just copy the body over and change a few stuff like removing these quote marks mostly everything here is fine you just need to change this to come from the body of the request instead because it's going to be supplied by the client the mobile app so here i'm just going to do a request body amount also add the object that will contain the headers for your request authorization key and content type is all that you need you want to add a weight to this and let's go here and do then and do pay link respond. I'm gonna also handle the error to just do this the following. I'm just gonna send the error object straight if there's an error, but if not, I'm gonna handle the response here. You can just do this. Simple, okay? 
Uh, one thing we forgot to do is just make sure that you generate a random ID using the random UUID function. Just do this, and now you're all set. You're all good. Let's um, let's run this using Firebase emulators. Just copy the link and paste it straight here, and now you can send the request. And let's see what we get. I get my payment link. Let's click on it. Just make sure that it's functioning correctly. It opens in the browser just fine. Nice. By the way, just a side note. Make sure your Postman is always organized. Have as many folders as possible to organize this. And keep as least as tabs as possible. I can't tell you how many times I've worked with people that would have 200 Postman tabs open. And it would make getting anything minor done a hell to do. Okay, since our endpoint looks to be functioning correctly, all I have to do now is just deploy it to cloud. Firebase deploy. Oops. This was so easy to implement that I can't believe that it's actually, uh, that it doesn't exist out there somewhere. The reason that it probably doesn't exist so far because the payments that we do here are going to be classified as e-commerce payment, right? So e-commerce payment costs a little more than the actual payments that you do in store and also probably this also this probably would trip people out if they if, if you just ask them to pay using your watch and a qr code but i think this technology is going to improve over time it's going to be instead of just scanning a qr like this or from your apple watch um you can just tap your card if you can just tap your card on apple wallet on apple watch that'd be great maybe like how people pay each other in video games or science fiction video games like mass effect also clean up your postman folder Please. Okay, we got our endpoint. It's working fine. Now let's um, let's code this in our mobile app. Just first thing, create a string, any array that looks like this, capturing the amount. Then create then create your request like this. Uh, post uh, content type and the body serialized right from here. Uh, um, I create an endpoint that doesn't have any authentication to it between the mobile side, the, the watch side, and the server side. You should uh, add some authentication layer there. I'm skipping that just for the demonst demonstration purpose for the video, but you should secure your endpoints always. Then slap your API request here. Here's where you initialize it. You t and then here's where you get the response. You get the response, you get the JSON, and then you turn it back into a the string. And then you will get the link, the payment link generated by that API request. And you use that using this library to create the QR image. It's getting mad at me, it's getting mad at me here because I did not um, add the library. So let's do that. EFQR code. Here I'm taking the QR generated. And I'll set it as a state variable, then I return true after this function is completed. So, what I need then is to go grab this request link and then go all the way here. Instead of saying print enter, you will say, is, you will indicate that it's loading first. Then you will use that request link. Then let's handle the result. The result. Then if the result is successful, we will show the QR. If it's not, then we'll print that something wrong happened. And then we're gonna disable the loading after all the needed is done. So set this to false. Okay, I think I recovered it all. Now let's try to run this and see what happens. Okay. Let's do a payment of $18. Enter. And the link is generated. If you're watching, you can try to scanning this too as well. I'll just scan it with my phone and click on it and here we go $18 payment from my phone I don't need a POS machine uh, it's like we're living in a science fiction book right here this is amazing right look check this out I'll get it closer to the camera If I click on this, it dismiss. Let's do another amount. Scan this. Again, if you're following this video, just you can just try to scan from the video and try it on your phone. 
There you go. And that's it. So easy. It's so easy. Also, it's so cool. It's 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 very showy. I, I don't think this can be applied to any real business thing. <laughs> but it's still cool to show. And I hope you enjoyed this video. But really, you can apply, you can implement this in any payment gateway or payment provider that generates link. Whatever you're comfortable with. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, comment in the in the box down there, here. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And if you want the source code for this project so you can uh, play around with it and uh, just have it ready in your computer instead of developing it from scratch, you can check out my Patreon in the description box that supports the channel where I will be posting the source code for this video and all other um, videos. See you later. Bye-bye.